Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And today we are looking at a topic that we've been talking about a lot on this channel, but from a different angle. And it specifically is an article relating something that we already knew here, which is that Myrtle Beach is one of the most sought after and moved to cities in the United States. This article is from this young lady right here out of the Sun News. And the most important thing that you need to know about the article itself is the data source, which is gonna be pods moving and storage. And for those of you that don't know what pods is, it's exactly that, it's a company that specializes in moving and storage. And so they deal with a lot of movers and they're taking their data, their statistics, logistics, and analytics, and this is the most moved to cities that they're seeing in their business. This correlates with a lot of other lists from different polling and statistics companies around the country or sources. But the bottom line is, let's read through some of this. Along with Myrtle Beach and Wilmington, North Carolina, six other cities in South Carolina made the top 20 list for 2024. That's amazing. Showing that South Carolina and North Carolina are becoming hot destinations. And it says these top areas here. Reasons being a lower cost of living, access to nature, and a good quality of life are drawing people into southern states, Paz wrote in a press release. Weather is milder, but there's still four seasons, and there is proximity to both mountains and the ocean within the Carolinas. Now, when they say weather is milder, I don't know what they mean by that, but there's nothing mild about the summer in South Carolina, which makes being at the beach attractive, and so we get it. Myrtle Beach area has seen tremendous amount of growth with population increasing by around 47% from 2010 to 2023 for the city of Myrtle Beach and Horry County, according to census data. And that article is linked right there if you want to take a look at it. That is, in fact, from census.gov. So all of this will be linked down in the description of the video, of course. And so the top 20 cities with their 2023 ranking, you see Myrtle Beach and Wilmington were tied for first place in 2023 and remain atop in 2024. I want to go through a couple of things real quickly. Number one is a lot of the reasons that make our area attractive to movers from across the country. We talk about at length on this channel, such as this video talking about property tax in the state of South Carolina. So if you're moving from somewhere such as upstate New York or New Jersey, somewhere in the Northeast, our property tax situation is going to be very attractive to you. And I would suggest that if that's a relevant piece of information, you should just go back and watch that video. We pull some statistics and data, show some rankings in that video likewise. There's a lot that our area has to offer. Now that is my segue to the second thing. When I say our area, those of you that are familiar with this channel may realize that I am a local realtor in an MLS that is in the PD area of South Carolina, which is west of Horry County and Myrtle Beach. And so you may be saying, what is your purpose in sharing this article and in this particular video with this twofold? One is I do also service the Myrtle Beach area. As a Florence native, I've spent ample time down in Myrtle Beach. Most Florence natives have because the summers are extremely hot and the beach or having quick beach access being only about 65 miles away is a great benefit. That brings me to point 1B of this is that Myrtle Beach is only about 65 miles away. And as you can see in this video, which was a house tour I did on a condo that I had listed, you can see right in the thumbnail that it was 65 miles away from Myrtle Beach. And that's a great selling point, not only for that property that I had and any others, but just our area in general. Florence trends to be a little bit cheaper. There are a lot of things in Florence that you don't have to deal with that you may in Myrtle Beach. And so with Myrtle Beach being this top destination area for movers across the country, I'm going to suggest to you that you may want to, if you're looking at Myrtle Beach and you've come across this video, uh, you may want to watch other videos on this channel and start to familiarize yourself with our area. Uh, you can even reach out and give me a call if you had specific questions. I'd be happy to tell you about our area in further detail or maybe something we haven't covered on the channel. But the bottom line is that if Florence is an option for you, it should be attractive because you can probably save a little bit of money unless you're planning on going to the beach every single day of the year. Then obviously the gas would add up. But holistically, and people that live in Myrtle Beach will tell you this. They will tell you this themselves. Go into Facebook groups about uh, living in Myrtle Beach and ask locals. There are certain things about life in Myrtle Beach that living in Florence, you're not going to have to deal with. 
whether that be traffic or other things. And I'll just let them explain because I can tell you confidently that you can go source out all of the pros and cons and then weigh that against life in Florence. And I think that for many of you, not everybody, because for some people living right there in Myrtle Beach is going to be the correct move for you. But for many of you, I think that when you compare and contrast Florence with Myrtle Beach, many of you out there are going to find Florence to be a better option for a variety of reasons, many of which we have covered on this channel already. And so I'd really want to point out something that's twofold, because like I said, I, I service the Myrtle Beach area as well. Our office services the Myrtle Beach area as well. So I'm not knocking Myrtle Beach by any means, but I do want to point out something that's twofold. A, I do want to highlight the fact that Myrtle Beach is drawing in so many movers from all across the country. And economically, for that area and ours, that's a tremendous thing, and we're really excited about it. But secondly, many people, meaning consumers out there, movers, possibly such as yourself, see some of that as a drawback. Some people don't want to go somewhere where the population increase is so dramatic over a short period of time. And I think it would suggest firmly that because of a variety of reasons, you're going to find Florence as a great alternative being so close in proximity to Myrtle Beach. Many of us make day trips to Myrtle Beach all the time during the summer because accessibility is so close. And especially once you learn some of the traffic patterns, times of days, times of the week to go down there, it's not even that much of a hassle to make a drive down to Myrtle Beach. So I just want to point this out because I know that Many of you are considering moving to the Myrtle Beach area or South Carolina in general. You are scanning the internet and specifically YouTube to gain more information, to get some insight into where to go. You could watch a video like this in the comfort of your own home and make your own decisions. And so that's what this video and really this channel's set to provide. This video is kind of an introduction, if that's you, to tell you to go through the channel and look at some of the different videos that are on different playlists and familiarize yourself with our area with our state, we do content that's statewide. We do some content that's national for that matter, but that should be very resourceful to you, okay? And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. That's very helpful to us and we really appreciate that support. But likewise, if you do want to dig a little bit deeper, go check out some more of the videos, subscribe to the channel because we try to put out at least a couple videos of content a week. And thirdly, if you really are wanting to drill down and get more information specifically about our area, perhaps in comparison to contrast to Myrtle Beach or Myrtle Beach specifically, all of my contact information and all of our office information is down in the description of this video. So please feel free to give us a call or an email and we would love to hear from you today. And in the meantime, we do look forward to hearing from you and y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.